What's going on everybody? It's Coach JJ here, and I just wanted to welcome everyone to another installment of our virtual experience. As always, if you're new here, feel free to drop a like and hit that follow button. Um, so first things first, I just want to make sure everyone is doing well and making good choices during our shelter in place. Um, so for this video, we have a couple of different things that we're going to be talking about. Uh, we have a new core value of sportsmanship and our healthy habit of friends. So even during these tough times, uh, we can still use sportsmanship when we're playing games with our family or if we're playing online virtual games with our friends. It's also really important to talk to our friends and show them support during this difficult time. Um, so with that said, I'm gonna turn it over to Coach Tim and he has our golf fundamental and our golf station for the day. Take it away, Coach Tim. Hello and welcome to our golf skills for the day. My name is Coach Tim, and today we're gonna to be talking about getting ready to swing and focusing on our aim and alignment. Now, our alignment is how we set our bodies in the right direction with our target. And to help me with that today, I've got a few things that are gonna help me with that. To check, you've got alignment sticks, even just regular golf shafts, or you can use a club. Now, let's jump in to talk about how we, how we do this. So when we're setting up, we want to be able to pick a target on, out on our court that we want to reach. When we pick it, when we pick a target, we want to make sure our we want to be looking at our feet, making sure they're in the right line. Our shoulders. We use the stick to point. Shoulders point to our target. Check your shoulders, your hips, and your feet. Should be, and when you as you take your. As you take your stance, when you look out toward your target, you should be able to make a straight line right down to where you want. So let's go ahead and hit a few balls and see see how this works. Now that we're gonna try it with our iron and to help me with my alignment, I'm gonna be using a couple of golf shafts. So once again, you still wanna be picking your target, set it up. Set it straight out. That's where I want my, my clubs to follow as I'm hitting. Set up. I'm gonna set up to set up to the ball for my iron shot. I'll check my feet. See if they're both in the same direction. doing some of those putts and welcome back to our golf tips with alignment and we're now here on our number nine putting green now small question are all putting greens flat not really so when as we're putting you might put your ball you might think it's point your alignment is straight your your club face is pointed at the hole but the ball doesn't roll that way Take a second and look at the direction of where the ground is sloping. So as you take your putts, you can adjust and, and make sure that your ball goes where you want it to go. So let's take some practice at that now. When we set up for our putts, we want to make sure that that line on the top of our club is pointed right at our target. So you can see the my target at the hole marked with the stick. So I want to make sure that, that uh, line and the stick almost perfectly with each other. Now let's see if that goes in. Downs are a little slow, but that did pretty well. Now let's see what happens. Now, if, we did, if I was just to come up, I wanted to check my, just come up and swing. Now, my club, if I'm not paying attention, that, that line is not pointed at my club, at my target. So there what, then, if I take a swing, my ball's not going where I want it to. So I want to take the time, as I get ready to swing, to check my alignment, I check my body, and I check that club to make sure it's pointed in the right way so I can get as close to my target as I want. So I want to get close to that target. Hope you guys can use some of these tips and remember to practice your alignment and be looking at your target when you're come out to practice next time. Hope you guys have a good rest of the day 
and we look forward to seeing you back out here at the course. Thank, thanks for joining me. Thanks, Coach Tim. If you enjoyed that golf station, feel free to give it a try at your home. Now we're going to go over to our STEAM at home activity with Coach Gabby. Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple no-sew face mask using an old t-shirt. You will need a t-shirt, a pair of scissors, a measuring tape or ruler, and a marker. First, take your t-shirt, fold it in half. Then, measure 8 inches from the bottom of the t-shirt and track it there. Cut off the bottom 8 inches of your t-shirt. That'll be your mask. Next, measure your t-shirt strip to 14 inches and cut any excess. Your t-shirt strip should be a total of 14 inches. Then fold it in half. Take the open half and cut two one inch strips, one on top and one on the bottom, that are seven inches long. You will be left with a rectangle flap that you will cut off. So cut off the rectangle flap that's remaining. The two strips will be used to tie your mask to the back of your head. There you have it. You've made your own mask. Congratulations. Hello everyone, my name is Coach Sebastian and I want to thank you for watching our fifth installment of our virtual experience. And today, I know that you guys were able to learn how to use sportsmanship in our activities and in your daily lives even though we're in our homes not able to leave. And I know for sure that you guys were learning the golf skill which would be ready to swing and aim in alignment. And lastly, the, I think is my favorite life skill is friends. Even though we're not able to leave our house, we can call them and you'll never lose contact with your friends. Thank you so much and I hope you get to enjoy the next installment that will be coming up soon. Thank you, Coach Sebastian, signing off.